From Donald Trump's election to the famous Siegfried and Roy Tiger attack of 2003, and even the faulty voter machines in 2012, there have been why some seem to think the writers might know something we don't. But luckily, lots of the stuff they predicted has never happened, so there is hope. So please, cross your fingers with me as we dive into the second edition of the top 10 scary Simpsons predictions we don't want to come true. Starting us off at number 10, Ivanka 2028. Now you might remember a certain season 11 episode where the Simpsons accurately predicted the election of Donald Trump a whole 17 years prior to his actual inauguration. But could we be in for another presidential prediction? In 2016, before the initial Trump prediction had ever seen the light of day, it seems like they slyly added in another layer that will have us on edge for the next six years, waiting to see if it comes true. The Treehouse of Horror episode begins innocently enough, as Homer takes Bart shopping for a Christmas tree on Halloween, joking with his son that they're shopping because everything in America is way too early. But then, Homer opens up his Bender costume to reveal an Ivanka 2028 badge underneath, saying, see? As he giggles to himself in his classic Homer fashion, the scene then cuts and it's never spoken of again. So what do you think? Will the prediction come true just as it did for Donald? Or will this be simply another Silly Simpsons skit? Coming up next at number 9, the death of George Clooney. Now, The Simpsons seem to have predicted many celebrity deaths like Arnold Palmer, Kobe Bryant, and maybe even Queen Elizabeth II, but could they be right about our beloved actor George Clooney too? Now, in this Treehouse of Horror episode, Homer, in an attempt to use images of celebrities in ads without their consent, kills off both Prince and Neil Armstrong, who strangely enough, have since passed. George Clooney is the third celebrity he kills by causing him to slip into quicksand on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, considering the fate of the first two celebs in this episode, it definitely seems a little creepy. Could The Simpsons be predicting that the end is near for Clooney? Let's just cross our fingers and hope that George is here to stay for a long while. Next up at number 8, suppression of green energy. Now as our technology advances, so do our cars. We already have completely electric cars sweeping the market and slowly but surely it seems like we're making great strides towards cleaner energy sources. But are The Simpsons predicting that it could all be going downhill? In the 500 182nd episode of the series, Lisa invents a car powered by solar energy, something that's actually already starting to be developed in places like MIT. Lisa enters her car into an alternative energy derby race, but right as she's about to cross the finish line, a duff blimp blocks out the sun, stopping her in her tracks immediately. While this may just seem like a silly coincidence, it wouldn't be out of pocket to think that huge conglomerates could be plotting ways to stop renewable energy sources, sabotaging the uprise of greener sources. Next up at number 7, the end of American civilization. In season 24, while visiting his usual spot, Moe's, Homer runs into a doomsday prepper who warns him of the inevitable social collapse. He goes on to tell him that anarchy lurks around every corner and that it will be the end of civilization, stating that it's coming home to an America near you. Homer responds to the prepper by saying, America can't collapse, we're as powerful as ancient Rome. The doomsday prepper then goes on to show him a video detailing what he believes to be the inevitable decline of our civilization due to our dependence on the system. Like how if supermarkets close, we starve, or if taps get shut off, we'd be forced to drink the blood of animals? And by the end, has Homer completely convinced. Now, while I can't foresee it all playing out exactly as the video imagines, could The Simpsons be trying to tell us something? Will America as we know it cease to exist? I mean, you can already buy bunkers on the internet, so they wouldn't be the first ones to think so. Coming in at number 6, World War 3. This season 6 episode contained many predictions that thankfully have yet to come true. And so I think it goes without saying why we're all praying that the same will be true for their prediction of another world war. Back in this 19 1995 episode titled Lisa's Wedding, she visits a psychic who sees 15 years into her future, telling her all about what her life will become. Now, 
I know, I know. 15 years from 1995 was 2010, making it 12 years ago for us, but we still don't want to take our chances with this one. During the episode, Lisa's fiance Hugh goes out to Moe's bar with Homer, where Moe, learning that Hugh is British, snarkily hands him a beer, saying that it was they, meaning the US, who saved him during World War II. But Hugh is quick to reply, claiming, yeah, but it was us that saved you in World War III, which Mo admits is true. While I would love to say that this idea seems preposterous, could the Simpsons be right? Are we in store for yet another world war? Let's just hope that they got this one totally wrong. Taking our number five spot, no more sunlight. While it's no secret we love the modern conveniences of electricity, I think we can all agree that nothing will ever replace that big ball of light in our sky. I don't know if any of you have ever lived in a basement apartment before, but I can tell you from experience that no sunlight in your house makes for a pretty awful time. So I can definitely say that I'm praying this season 7 prediction stays as far away from reality as possible. Mr. Burns, the local nuclear power plant owner of Springfield, decides that in order to fill his pockets, he'll force everyone in the town to use up more electricity by making the sun disappear. He goes on to create a giant plate at the end of a movable arm that completely blocks out the sun from the whole town. Forcing the citizens to fully rely on artificial light to help them get around. Now, can I foresee a real life billionaire pulling this off? Well, maybe not in the way that Mr. Burns decides to black out the sun, but is it impossible to imagine some uber rich tycoon figuring out some sinister plan to make us all pay more in electricity and keeping natural light a thing of the past? All I can say is I sure hope it never comes true. Coming up at number four iRobot? I know we've all had that same nightmare. One day we wake up and the robots that once made our lives easier and better turn on humans, taking over the world and destroying everyone in their path. Well, this 1994 episode predicted a similar fate. While on a trip to visit Itchy and Scratchy Land in season 6, Homer and the family are left fearing for their life when a horde of high-tech robots come to life and wreak havoc aiming to harm his family. Now, as this was Itchy and Scratchy Land, the robots were programmed to be violent, but a park employee tells them not to worry because the robots have been specifically programmed not to harm humans. Where have we heard that one before? Nothing could go wrong. Well, luckily Homer figures out that a camera flash immobilizes the bots and is able to save his family from their deathly fate. But let's just agree. Keep the robots away because as we've all learned time and time again, they will get too smart and we will all have to face the consequences. Next up at number 3. Music Mind Control. It's a tale as old as time. It's the music that those young kids are listening to that's pointing them towards the devil's ways. We saw it with Elvis in the 50s, rock and roll bands in the 80s, and rappers in the 90s, where rumor had it that if you played the record backwards, you would hear the devil himself. And though of course, all of that was nonsense. What if the government really did figure out a way to control the world's children through music? Well, according to this 2001 episode, it could become a reality. Titled New Kids on the Black, Bart finds himself meeting a music producer who offers him a chance to be a star and join a boy band with his friends Nelson, Ralph, and Milhouse. But it's not all as innocent as it seems when their single Drop de is released and the line even at Neoj is in the chorus. Well, of course, Lisa is quick to dive into this peculiar situation and realizes it's backwards for join the Navy. She is quick to confront this so-called manager of Bart only to find out that he's a Navy lieutenant and tells her that for a long time popular music has been used as a recruiting tool by the military. I don't know about you, but this one seems uh, eerily possible, so I'm just definitely crossing my fingers that we don't see this happening. Coming in at number two is the zombie apocalypse. For as long as I can remember, zombies have been a huge part of pop culture, so it's no surprise the Simpsons seem to have a prediction about them too. In a 2009 Treehouse of Horror episode, the local burger joint Krusty Burgers releases a new menu item coined by the Krusty Clown as Burger Squared. All he does is take grade A beef cows, kill them, and then feed their meat to more cows. The second cow Cows get turned into the burgers, and voila, a new masterpiece hits the town of Springfield. 
Well, until it starts turning the whole town into zombies, or as they call them, munchers, terrorizing the town and taking down everything in their path. While it seems far fetched, could the Simpsons be onto something here? Could some strange, genetically modified meat be the cause of our societal collapse? And lastly, in our number one spot is the reanimation machine. While we are always suspecting an episode with Sideshow Bob to give us the heebie jeebies to some extent, it really kicks it into high gear when he's on a Halloween special. Once again, in this Treehouse of Horror episode titled Wanted, Dead or Alive, Bob finally kills Bart just as he's been trying to do for years. But it's not not just that. It's much, much worse. He doesn't just kill Bart once. Oh no, 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 no. He kills him over and over and over again. With the help of his so called reanimation machine, Bob is able to revive Bart, making it possible to kill him repeatedly in different ways and as many times as he likes. Well, to me, the science seems pretty impossible on this one. Can you imagine if such a machine was actually invented? If it got into the wrong hands, it could be detrimental to humanity and cause an insane amount of harm. So let's just hope that this one stays.